and welcome to the Queendom. I'm Sarah Ingle and today we are going to do a Rapunzel makeup tutorial. I've been waiting a long time to do this, but I want to tweak some things with the eyeshadows. If you notice, Rapunzel in her original Tangled movie, her face looks slightly different. In Wreck-It Ralph, for instance, Rapunzel in real life has purples on the eyes and she definitely has a lipstick. Then you've also got the animated series. So this is kind of my blend of all of them. So actually, special shout out to Deck of Scarlet. They partner with different YouTubers every other month to do a makeup subscription and the YouTubers are the ones who make the palette with them. They actually sent me palettes that had a whole bunch of lavender shades so that I could find those last couple Rapunzel eyeshadows that I wanted to tweak in. So let's get started. So first off, in order to have that really cartoony finish, you want to make sure you start with your foundation done. Once you put costumes on with things, you tend to look way more washed out. If you don't know how to do foundation, I have a costume and stage makeup foundation tutorial and I will link to that in the description, as well as links to all the products that we're going to use today so that they're right there and handy for you. Once you've done your general foundation, because everybody's face is shaped a little bit differently, compare your face to hers. If your your jaw shape sticks out a little bit more, then you would add some dark in this area versus if your jaw line maybe is narrower, you might add light. Put light on areas you want to make appear either larger or more protruding, and then you put dark on areas that you want to make look smaller. So in my case, I'm gonna put a little bit of dark right here and right here and probably pull in some extra light here. Contour, always make sure you're doing it with a matte. Just do a couple shades darker than your skin. In my case, I'm actually just gonna use Naked and Buck. To the sun, only you and me make sure you blend it in with a translucent powder. For highlighting, you can use foundation that's a couple shades lighter than your skin. a little bit here um because her face seems pretty flat right through here so that there's not this little indention where your nose goes in while i've got it here i'm also going to put a little tip uh, a little tiny speck right here on the tip of the chin Now that I put that, that lighter color underneath, I am gonna take a little bit of this high beam from Benefit and put it just on the absolute lightest areas. If you have a highlight powder that you wanna seal it in with, you can do that, but you don't wanna look glittery. I'm going to use Virgin from the Naked palette. So we're just dusting a bit of that on there. So now I'm going to move on to blush. Palette number three from Deck of Scarlet has in it Baby Doll, and the other one, so cute, like S-H-O, cute. I think that's really funny. I'm gonna use a little bit of Baby Doll, but really any light pink will work. Pull it into, into hairlines, even a little bit underneath here, especially if some of those pink tones aren't already in your skin. It makes it all feel a little bit more natural and like it's glowing from within you instead of just pink smushed on your face. I know we haven't done eyeshadow yet, but you can pull a little bit of this up over your eyes too. I'll take a little bit of that so cute and put it on uh, those areas that we highlighted. Now that we've done that blush, take a translucent powder. This is Makeup Forever Ultra HD Powder. It's awesome. I'm taking just a little beauty blender and we're gonna boop, boop, pat it on top of all that. All right, we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. We're gonna try and keep it pretty natural, but I want to pull in a little bit of those, those pinks and purples, those lavender lilacs that she wears in the parks. If you have not put on eyeshadow primer, I really recommend that because it will help those really light colors pop a little bit more. Since we just did some of that blush, let's pull a baby doll starting from the outside and pull it on in. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of that so cute and pull a little bit more onto the top, not in the crease, leaving this whole intersection really, really clean. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of Supernova, pat it just right here, right in the center. 
I've got this really awesome pinkish color from MAC called Swish. Pull in a little Swish, kind of in that same area. Try and keep most of the inner area as clean as possible. So we want it really light. And that helps your eyes look a little bit bigger, more open, and Rapunzel has the biggest eyes of any of the Disney princesses. I've got a Smashbox palette, and it looks actually like literally smashed. <laughs> because it's so old and been beat up. But there's a purple that has little flecks of gold in it. It's called Amethyst. Rapunzel's got a lot of those purples and golds. I feel like it's just a great way to pull some of that in without having like gold too much on your face. So a little bit of this amethyst here. Keeping this way on the outside. Don't pull this in because it's too dark. Just pulling on the lid just um, in that outer corner. Take that little fluffy brush, blend it out a little bit. I'm gonna take a little bit of Making Mauves and put just a little bit in the crease. Don't go in all the way because we wanna put a very, very, very light highlight color in there. I am gonna take a little bit on this brush, put um, a smidge of Naked, kinda of pull it in. Keeps it also from getting way too purple. It's a little more neutral, a little more brown in there and then maybe a tiny speck of buck in that absolute outermost corner. And then we're just gonna blend. Don't go past maybe about like here, because then we're starting to gain, get into that area that we want to keep clean. Now take a little bit of high beam again and put it here on the brow bone. And then also a little bit in the inner corners where we kept it all nice and light. And then make sure you seal that in with a light shimmery powder. I'll use some of Virgin from the Naked Palette. Before I do eyeliner, I'm actually going to show what we're gonna do with false lashes. <laughs> You don't have to be this tedious with it. You can actually look at a picture of them and see what shape their eyelashes make and build our own little set of lashes based off of that. And rather than doing one eye completely before you do the other, do them both at the same time. It helps keep them a little more even. I'm going to kind of go where the peak of my arch of my eyebrow is out there and build off of that. This is like crazy extra. You don't have to do this. Just find a pair of lashes. <laughs> All right, once you've got your lashes on the top, add some black mascara to your bottom lashes. And there we have our lashes. A very important thing to do, when, especially when you're doing the build your own lashes type of thing, even out anything you need or fill in any little gaps, with some eyeliner, I like to use a liquid felt tip. I dot the felt tip right in anytime there's a gap so that it doesn't look like you patched together your own eyelashes. Even though that's kind of what we did. For underneath your eyes, get a light brown pencil. Just very, very light, a little tiny bit underneath your eyes. I will do a little bit of waterline aligning and a little bit even underneath the eye. Not a white, but a very, very, very light, pearly, slightly pinkish eyeliner. For Rapunzel's eyebrows, we've got a couple of different options because in the original Tangled movie, her eyebrows are brown. In Rick and Ralph, her eyebrows are more blonde. And then in the cartoon, they're also, again, brown. So the key is just not to make them too arched. I've got this Bed and Eye Eyebrow Pencil in literally light brown. Before we do the lips, I'm gonna take care of the nose contour. She is quite shadowed. Uh, almost everywhere under the little tip. Very upturned nose. So I'm going to shadow uh, almost everything under here, especially right under here make it look as upturned as possible. Since we've been using Naked for all of our contouring, we're gonna continue with it on the nose. Mm -hmm. 
And again, blend like crazy. I'm gonna do it a little darker than you might necessarily do it in person so you can see what I'm doing. But please, blend your nose. Oh my goodness. Our nose is quite upturned, so I'm also gonna draw a little line across here. Connect, lift, lift. Okay, let's see that's really dark and I already used like the lightest color ever. So we're gonna need to blend that in a lot. I also wanna connect that to the sides here. I am gonna do a little bit of shadow up the nose because there's so much darkness down here but I want to blend it all in together. Once you blend it in, and you will be blending it in more than this, I just need to make sure that you can see it. Take a little beauty blender and pat this on it. It's gonna make it all blend into your skin a little better and pull up a little bit of that color too. Now, to finish off your contour nose, you're actually going to highlight on your nose. So, <laughs> this is the Naked Basics palette. I'm going to use a little bit of Venus down the front of the nose. But make sure you stop when you get to that part where you made the little upside down C so that you don't cover that up. And then, right on the tip, and again, pat that in. If you wanna, again, so slightly leave an unpatted in little dot on the end of your nose. We can move on to the lips. We're gonna start by uh, getting a very light or almost white color and surrounding the mouth with it. That doesn't look scary or anything. <laughs> Take a nude pinkish, uh, something that kind of matches the color of your lips, lip liner. I'm using this L'Oreal Color Rich Forever Rose. We're gonna draw on our lips again. Go a little over on edges. Her lips are a little bigger or a little more under where they're smaller. In my case, I'll be coloring over. I noticed her lips are rather straight across, at least in the pictures I can find. So I'm making the Cupid's bow a little bit straighter than normal. We're actually gonna color in kind of the whole lip. If you make a mess, you can take a little brush here and some foundation and just clean up those edges. Now I know this looks really pink and it is really pink, but we're just gonna use a little tiny bit with a lip brush just to bring more pink back into the lips so they're not so dark. This is Lime Crime Pink Velvet. Whatever you use, make sure it's matte. Take a light pink lip liner. You're just gonna kinda highlight the middle of the lip. Now take a liner, this is a red, just in the outer corners and maybe a little underneath. Cause we're gonna kinda create kind of an ombre shadow effect. Just lightly, cause they're just gonna blend with this. Now take a lip brush and blend that in. Take a little bit of this matte liquid lipstick and put it right there in the center. Because my lips don't stick out quite as much, I'm gonna take a little bit of Naked and add a little extra fake shadow under here. You can even, if you want extra, add some there, but be careful not to make it look like you have a mustache. <laughs> I'm actually taking even like a little bit of highlight eyeshadow and putting it right in the center. And 
then up here on the cupid's bow. Okay, and again, clean up the edges with some foundation. Take a gloss just in the center. The only thing left is, is optional. If you want to add freckles, we can do that now. Take a teensy tiny little brush, dip it in some water, and then dip it into a brown eyeshadow. I need to slightly dot them. And then make sure you squish it on down with your beauty blender. So that's it. Now you know how to get Rapunzel's look too. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on our Disney princess makeup tutorial series. Tag me in pictures on Instagram if you try it out because I want to see all of your fun Rapunzel looks. I hope you have the best day ever and I will see you next time. Yay! No, no, but you have to ask. <laughs> it's not like all your own. It's, it's not. Uh, a lot, an alarming amount of it is, but actually it's not all. Okay, all. I'm just double checking. That's going to be extraordinary. <laughs> yeah, the pump's a little bit there. <laughs> Thank you. Is that for real? A lot, some of it is. Uh, a beautiful. lot of it. Thank <laughs> you. Body. Okay, look out right here.